Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys a what a week news update, all the latest and greatest in pop culture, toys, entertainment in general, all the stuff we love to buy and collect and just eat up, but it never ends and we absolutely love it. So let's just dive right into it. We'll start it off with the recent Playmates Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie star turtle box set. A lot of people had their opinions on this. I never had it as a kid. I have a video up looking at the entire box set if you want to go ahead and check it out. I, for what it was, had no problems with it. Yeah, I know this is off and that's wrong. The splinter is not great. We'll just all completely agree on that. But if you want to have these, if you don't want to go back, I mean, you can go to eBay anytime you want if you don't have them and get the original Turtles, Splinter, Shredder, Toka, Razar, everybody, Foot Soldier. So you can do that, or you can buy this, like, $45 set if you can. So Target has it. It's been in and out. Just keep an eye on it. I'll post when it comes back up and everything else. But not a bad set at all for the price that they are offering it as. Now, next up... And we'll talk about more Mario stuff as we keep going for this week. Jack Specific did have a bunch of new reveals, which was great. And thank you again to them for having me be a part of that. We, uh, at the GameStop, they have an exclusive Star Power Luigi. He's 12 bucks. He's cool. He's in that GameStop exclusive box type packaging that they do. I do have a video up on him as well. He's very cool. If you have a bunch of different Luigis, you probably don't need them. But if you're a Jack Specific World of Super Mario collector like I am, yes, you absolutely do. He's very, very cool and definitely one of those exclusives, quote unquote, that really fits the whole motif of you don't really need it. But hey, you know what? It's cool. Went to Target after not going to Target for quite some time just because of work and everything else. And managed to find the new retro, I'm calling them like Marvel 375s because I think that's kind of cool. They're calling them Marvel Legends retro vintage collection figures, the 3.75 inch. I think they're really cool. They're my cup of tea because I enjoy all the old Toy Biz Kenner type stuff. But they're not going to be everyone's. They're like five, between five and seven POA depending on which figures that you get. And managed to find Electra Iceman, Magneto, Hulk, and Daredevil to complete the set. Forty had the other ones. And, uh, yeah, to Human Torch, I'm kind of biased towards that since I was uh, able to officially reveal it on Toys, huh? Yeah, little shameless plug there. Moving on to Jack Specific again. Now, this is up for pre-order. If I mention anything in this video, I will put the links up. When applicable, sometimes, you know, being that they've been up for a couple days now, you might not be able to get it, but I will put them up regardless. So on Amazon, for pre-order, Jack Specific's new Super Spin-Out Mario and Luigi, they're 2.5-inch scale. They're like a pullback racer, and it comes with, like, a giant banana sort of obstacle, which they run into and knock over. It's cool. I mean... It, you really think about what do you do with a Mario Kart toy. I have RC controlled. I will be getting these because I think they're cool. But there's nothing better than playing the old-fashioned video game, which uh, coming up in a bit, Hot Wheels released a brand new one of that. So that's very cool. Keep in mind at Target stores, you have until March 13th, 25% off one toy. It's in-store or order pickup, drive-by all that kind of stuff. So keep in mind, and some new pre-orders from McFarland Toys did go up today, so we can talk about that as well. You might want to use those on that. Now, this is interesting, and I'll explain it the best for now. We'll just say I did have a video up explaining when pre-orders, so the new Death Metal figures did go up for pre-order today, like I had said. The Snyder Cut Justice League movie figures will be official officially revealed coming soon more towards the release of the actual film there has been leaks there has been all that kind of stuff they're well aware of it but amazon went ahead and put up four of the figures for pre-order so some people were able to get them it was steppenwolf dark side flash and the aquaman and then later on in the week they put the rest up eh, they put a few more up we'll say and it was just placeholders, though. So they're not available yet. 
but more towards the release date of the movie, which I believe, what is it, the 18th, you'll be able to get these. And no, they're not slated for next year. I know a lot of people were asking, well, Amazon has it listed for, what, January 1st, 2022 or something like that. No, it's it's just a placeholder thing. These weren't supposed to go up. We'll just keep it at that. And yeah, they will be in your hands much, much sooner than next year. Also, I checked out the NECA Toys Toonie Classics Ace Ventura figure. That was actually pretty cool. I wasn't a huge fan. of. I watched the cartoon. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I knew exactly what this was. Seeing a toy fair just kind of, oh, all right. That, you know, I like NECA always thinks outside the box. They are doing stuff while most people are rehashing or redoing or bringing us characters or toys that we have seen before. NECA really does the complete opposite. When was the last time that you saw Ace Ventura, the cartoon, as an action figure? So I love what they do. I like this figure a lot. I think it's great. It sits on my desk now. Anything Ace Ventura really uh, is for me. I love that movie. But uh, yeah, definitely go and check out my video if you have time. Now, moving into the lead up to Mario Day, which was March 10th. Uh, they, Jack Specific, you know, when I said, hey, you want to reveal some stuff? The first reveal on Monday was their brand new Bowser's Airship playset, which is amazing. 2.5 inch scale. I always say you could put the 4 inch with it. I do it with my 2.5 inch levels. I have all those. I'm a big fan of what they do. It's toys that I wish existed when I was a little kid. But uh, you can store figures in this thing. It's got propellers. It rocks back and forth. The wheels. Stuff opens and closes on it. And it plays the Airship tune from the nintendo game so that is very cool to see and of course it comes with a mario figure everything that they do comes with a mario figure i just wish that mario the one thing about jacks they they do fantastic stuff i have no qualms but i would like to see more more with the mario you know one thing i've always said i always like to see like a n64 pixelated type Mario that would be cool you know something like that I it's the standard art clip art kind of thing for Mario Nintendo in general so they have to follow that it's part of the style guide but one day that, that's what I really hope but I think that they are absolutely knocking it out of the park and more people should collect this line I'm just saying I think it's fantastic for those of you who finished WandaVision as well we're not going to go on any spoilers because I know a lot of people still haven't really seen it, but the series did conclude. I thought it was good. I did something different than I usually do. I sat there and watched it and didn't watch any type of commentary or, hey, you missed this or, you know, those clickbaity type things. I resisted the entire series and I found myself to enjoy it a heck of a lot more. I had no preconceived notions on. I just thought what I thought, you know, I'm like, oh, maybe this could go here or maybe this could go here. Nothing, never drew any of those conclusions that I saw after the fact, you know, of like Mephisto and the X-Men and, uh, fan well, the X-Men was in certain ways, but Fantastic Four, you know what I mean? It was, people went wild and I saw the complaints online and I thought, well, you know, that's you drawing your own conclusions for what it was. I thought it was cool. It was kind of like a comic book annual, you know what I mean? Like a, a story I think it could have gone a little bit more towards the end. It felt kind of like a rushed ending, to be quite honest with you. But for the totality of the series, I thought it was well done. And it was definitely something different, which I did appreciate. But speaking of WandaVision, we're going to be getting new action figures, of course. So we got our looks at Scarlet Witch and, of course, Vision. These will be part of a spring 2021 wave most likely they haven't specified yet i know a lot of people said oh i heard this and i saw this and blah 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 until they come out with the exact details of it i'm not going to speculate because things change and stuff that's rumored is oftentimes wrong and it doesn't help anybody so just keep in mind these two figures are coming some way some way forms fashion they're not exclusive to walmart or anything else like that they will be coming in spring 2021 so get excited for that on top of the marvel legends diamond select also revealed their scarlet witch figure she's in the seven inch scale and if you look at the two costumes between legends and and diamond select you can kind of see 
okay, maybe one had early concept art, you know, things like that. I think they both look good for what they are. They're a little bit different. Diamond Select really has kind of elevated the, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people say, oh, you know, the articulation, blah, blah, blah. Well, what they lack, I guess, in articulation, they make for, up for in sculpt and paint. So I think their Scarlet Witch looks great as well. The Marvel Legends one, I think, needs a little bit more paint, to be quite honest with you. And I do think that their vision is not exactly what we see on the show. So again, that could be early concept art, do, making figures up. You know, they make these in advance. So that's one of the hiccups of making toys early. Things do change, much like news and rumors does change. So keep that in mind. But in either case, the Scarlet Witch for uh, Scarlet Witch for Diamond Select went up for pre-order on Amazon. I believe it's sold out. I'll double check. I'll put the link. But it is available on Entertainment Earth, which I do recommend as well. Moving on into NECA Toys. Now, they have been promising for quite some time. Like, keep vigilant. Be patient. They're going to get more Ninja Turtle. The Ninja Turtle stuff exploded for them they they're just racking in the dough right that that stuff is like hot cake central but they told everybody and a lot of people you know oh i don't have him just trust me when i say be patient be patient with these things these things always manage to come back up and you'll get them eventually do not pay extreme prices if you want to pay extreme prices and have them early and you have the cash to do so so be it. But for those that don't and can't afford that, don't do it. Just wait until they actually hit the stores. And you might have to wait a little bit. But when you wait and you finally get it, oh, that feeling is so, so great. But shout out to Pizza Beard Party. He wrote in and <laughs> at his local Walmart, right, in Woodstock, Georgia, I posted this photo. It's like every single, if you went and got all, you you. You get all turtles right there. You get Shredder, Super Shredder, Splinter, and the four ninjas, and you'd be set. The only ones you'd be missing really for right now is Casey Jones and and the foot soldiers and the and the trench coated raft. But if you're a kid or whatever, you want all the turtles and such. Yeah, you got a complete set here. But a lot of people were saying that it's faked. It was CGI'd. Um, I, yeah, Lucasfilm definitely got involved with this and made these photos happen. Not only that, NECA Toys was getting sent these photos as well and reposted many, many of them as well. So they are at Walmarts in certain areas, mostly Midwestern right now. But wait, wait to see what happens. My Walmart, no, nah, nothing on the shelves just yet. But they did get the other NECA stuff in no defenders of the earth just yet which i am i'm patiently waiting to get i'll get them eventually so my advice is you don't get them now just wait because you will all this stuff finds its way once everyone's had their fill and everything else oh I'm, i bought them all and then they find out they don't they don't sell them yeah they they start hitting the shelf so very cool to see so thanks for writing in for that that was a lot of fun to see all those turtles on the shelves and so much fun to see a lot of different Walmarts having that as well. So I'm happy that if you've been waiting for these, definitely get them. And for those that maybe went to, you know, people are saying, oh, one guy went to a store and bought them all. So let them. Don't buy them from him. Wait till they come to your store and get them that way. That's all I'm going to say. So moving on to Masters of the Universe. Shout out to AKA Star Wars on Instagram. They came across at their Denver, Colorado Target store, the newest wave, once again, of the Mattel Masters of the Universe He-Man classics. You got Triclops, Ninjor, and Hordak. The other one missing was Stratos. He's part of this wave as well. Same DPCI, 0871673555. A lot of different Masters of the Universe. I'm looking at my Masters of the Universe collection, and the only one I'm missing right now is Trap Job. But in the time that, I mean, from Wave 1 at Walmart to now, I mean, they have released a ton of characters and figures so far, and more just keep coming. And they have a lot more on the way, so get ready. But again, if you're not finding, I mean, it took me a while um, to find, what, the newest Wave with merman and uh, roboto and all those figures so eventually i found them they were at target but i haven't seen these yet and i am definitely on the look so good luck this weekend if you are looking for them also 
I finished up the rest of my X-Men, uh, Tri-Sentinel, Marvel Legends figures. This was a wild wave to collect. I mean, honestly, I've been seeing these sitting everywhere. I don't know how people are really taking them. I've seen a lot of people, you know, who, like me, collect the heck out of Marvel Legends, really saying they're great. I'm going to collect them anyways, but I don't know the the story behind these characters. I, I don't understand... They're not the X-Men that I know. I did look into the story and I read, you know, go on. If you can't read comic books, you know, time is of the essence these days, of course. But, you know, go like check out the Rob Corps and Comics Explained. He does a great job of filling you in in case you need like a quick study or something like that. So I definitely recommend his YouTube channel. I looked into this this storyline. It's it's completely different X-Men for me i respect in the sense of once you have these toys in hand they're actually very cool they're different there is some reuse in the bodies but there's it looks like there's a little bit of a change happening in the styling of marvel legends and i think this is where i, I kind of noticed it with the spider-man ones these ones i really started to notice it everything's very crisp everything is a little bit more digital than say hand sculpted you know what i mean it's not a bad thing but if you look at it you can probably you, you'll see what i'm talking about in either case though i'm very happy with this wave because in terms of the storyline it's a it's really all the characters that you need so that's kind of cool all in one wave there you go plus if you got nimrod and you know you got the sentinel kickstarter and everything else that they did it'll be more of a complete set come the fall so well done in that sense. While it's not my ideal X-Men, there are a couple characters that are very cool in this, so I definitely do recommend some of them. If you already have, if you don't really care and you got Wolverine, Cyclops, Professor X, all that kind of stuff, Magneto, yeah, total pass. But I do recommend Omega Sentinel and uh, Moira McTavert, by the way. And the Tri Sentinel is cool, though, and that's the build of it. You know what I mean? Just, you figure it out. <laughs> Up for pre order on Amazon. Finally, this was the one I think everyone was waiting for. Target will have an exclusive McFarlane Toys, what is it, like Build-A-Figure line, we'll just say, collect a build, right? That will be throughout the entirety of 2021, Target exclusive. However, this is a different Batman Beyond. This is the one that really everyone probably wants. It's the more classic-ish Terry McGinnis, comes with the boot jets, the incorrect batarangs, see that's how they get you. The other one, the Target exclusive one, has like the correct batarangs. So to get both, you know, yeah, they know what they're doing. No word yet if the wings are detachable. It's kind of keeping it as a secret. Hopefully I'll have a look at the figure coming up soon. But in either case, I am very happy about Batman Beyond. And please check out Strong Stuff. He just did a brand new Batman Beyond print. He actually did two of them and it's very cool he does all the power ranger box art very cool artist definitely please do check him out also for amazon i'll put the, again i'll put all the links up they started the pre-order for the master of the universe he-man origins land shark so that's cool i'm definitely excited I, master of the universe to me was never a thing i got into it with this new he-man classics and everything he-man origins i should say and it's a lot of fun. It's ridiculous, but it's a lot of fun. I don't, I, it's everything and anything, and that's what makes it so wild. I, again, I took a look at the Power Star Luigi, the GameStop Jack specific exclusive, so definitely check that out. On Tuesday, they did their second reveal leading up to Wednesday's Mario Day. They're going to be having a three pack with all the cat suits from super mario world 3d so you got peach Pr I, princess toadstools or I, that's what i call her mario and luigi mario and luigi are re-releases i don't have luigi so that's cool and peach is the new figure comes with the bell not exact details on where this set will come probably all major retailers but they have not specified just yet so keep that in mind and it will run you 30 bucks for the complete set so that's cool i i'm looking forward to that i can't get enough jack specific marios also on entertainment earth for all you transformers fans transformers generation selects voyager g2 ramjet all the colorful purple and teals that you can handle he's up for pre-order if you want to go ahead and grab him now 
Thank you again to Mondo for sending these uh, pictures out. And they gave you like a more detailed story. This was shown at DesignerCon almost about two years ago, and which seems like an eternity ago. And they're going to be doing these mecha figures. They had Spider-Man, they had Iron Man, they had Captain America, all in like mech suits. So they're supposed to be like, you know, Power Rangers or Megazord and things like that, where you have Peter Parker, the pilot, piloting a Spider-Man mecha, which is cool. You know what I mean? It's kind of like Japanese Spider-Man with the uh, Leopard on kind of thing. But uh, if you want, you can head over to their site. They have the classic red and blues, and then you can get a symbiote Spider-Man version as well. It's a little bit more limited edition, a little bit more pricey. You can decide they are a little bit expensive, but they are very cool looking in person, and I hope to check them out very, very soon. Now, this is cool. We've known about this for a while. We were teased. Actually, it was like kind of leaked out, and then it was teased. And then finally, we got our good look at it. So this is coming for spring 2021. This is the NECA Toys Target exclusive. This is their Turtles in Disguise four pack. Turtles are all in disguises. You can swap the faces to the bandanas and everything else. It kind of uses that quarter scale technology that they're doing with those other turtles. So that's very cool to see. The box has tons of little Easter eggs all over it, inclu including the you know, the pizza aliens kind of thing. So hints, that'd be, I would love anything and anything that NECA does, but I love to see their hints thrown out. So if they do ever make those aliens, which they did a Comic-Con exclusive alien painted to look like the Turtles alien back then, if you guys remember that. But I'm very excited about this box set. This looks awesome. So look for it again, spring 2021 at Target stores. Next up, shout to Collect Jurassic for sending this over. They had the exclusive reveal with Smith's Toys for the Mattel Jurassic Apatosaurus. This is a completely new build, new sculpt, everything else. It does not share parts with the Brachiosaurus. It's a humongous figure, 41 inches long. Very cool. I think a lot of Jurassic Park fans will definitely be happening. You know, it's a legacy brand now. Jurassic Park, very, very much in the collective knowledge of pop culture now. Jurassic World Dominion, I believe, is still coming out next year. Who knows? But uh, fingers crossed. But um, yeah, expect a lot of Jurassic Park toys coming. And this one, yeah, it looks fantastic. So very happy for that. If you have not seen the trailer, the killer treader, uh, trailer, trailer, <laughs> You know what I'm saying. Killer trailer for the new Dotemu Games and Tribute Games Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles side-scroller Shredder's Revenge, right? The theme song is by Mike Patton. The thing is amazing. If I could get an animated series like that now, mm, that would be great. But all the Turtles in Time, Hyperstone Heist, all that kind of stuff, action coming back. They did not say when it's releasing, it kind of looks like it's going to be on Steam first. Hopefully it comes to console. Please put it on Switch. That's all I'm going to say. Come on, Dotemu Games. Put it on Nintendo Switch for the love of God because this thing looks absolutely amazing. So well done. That just took over the entire day. That people, I was singing that theme song and humming it and it was just awesome. So very cool. Well done. And then finally, for Wednesday's Mario Day, Jack Specific released their final reveal. They have the Deluxe Cloud playset, which is a 2.5 inch figure playset, 20 inches wide, all kinds of stuff. You got a piranha plant that chomps and moving levers and platforms and clouds and a little stand for the spinning Mario. This is how it's done. This is cool. Very excited about this. And of course, it comes with a Mario. <laughs> <laughs> For those interested, having seen this now, it's not available anymore, but the Mezco Toys Baron Ben's Tectonic Disruptor variant went up and quickly sold out. Interesting that they're doing I like that they're doing their original sort of styled characters. You started with Gomez, Baron Ben's, you got the 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 I forget the Pink Skulls Club, that's cool, and then the ghost doctor or something or other. But very cool to see, and not, not a bad repaint at all. That thing sold like hotcakes, just <laughs> just FYI. 
While I was looking at my mask, the, the new Master of the Universe He-Man figures that I found, I pulled out my Son of Zorn, Zorn figure that Funko made a few years back. I hadn't seen this guy in a while, so it was fun to kind of pair him up. He goes great with He-Man or He-Man Origins, man. That is very cool to see. If you don't have one of these, highly recommend them. There's two variations. There's one in like his office attire, and there's one that's like straight from the cartoon, well, live action cartoon hybrid. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely go pick him up get him on ebay or something like that target set out a really weird notification it popped into my thing it said hey available now i barely saw the photo of it and i, I was like it kind of said like spider spider-man related something like that marvel and um later on in the day when you when you clicked on the notification it went to nowhere it just took you to the uh the target app but they revealed uh that they thursday they were going to release the new <laughs> It's funny that they picked Carnage. Carnage, like dome head, it's 546 pieces, went up, quickly sold out. Interesting that they pick a mass murderer as a Lego thing. <laughs> Maybe they didn't tell anybody at the old uh, Lego, you know, but uh, that was pretty interesting. Fun story, too, to talk about. Like, Target just sends a random, hey, guess what? And then they're like, oh, shoot. No, we sent that a little bit too early. And then shout out to Respect the Fet on Instagram over in Corona. He found the new Lunar New Year special edition Hellbat action figure. It's in that gold and the red. And then, of course, like another hour later or something, Plastic Poser over in Northern California found the new John Stewart Green Lantern, which I also found as well and did a review. So that's up on my YouTube Very excited. You know, John Stewart is great. The Hellbat looks cool. It's hard to get excited for another, you know, I mean, you already have the figure. It's just a different color, so you know what to expect. But in either case, yeah, it looks cool when I find it. I'll definitely pick it up. Pull that all Mario games for Super Mario Day on March 10th. That was Wednesday. Had a blast. Played some Mario. It was a nice stress reliever. Very cool. And then, oddly enough, had to run to the store, walking around. I do like to go to, like, the sectional, uh, e uh, what's it called? Like, the Easter holiday aisles when they <laughs> seasonal that's the word i'm looking for uh they have like these eggs bunch of different brands and such super mario ninja turtles 40 tattoos in each one each eggs like two bucks so get one for the kids nice for the easter baskets things like that if the if you go that route and then shout out to tj underscore gremlin underscore guy tj gremlin guy if you don't know him definitely follow that guy Makes amazing Gremlins models, have been on display at Toy Fair for NECA Toys in their booth. Fantastic guy, always knows his Gremlin stuff. He and NECA teamed up to unveil sort of a tease, right, for their upcoming Gremlins accessories pack. A lot of different stuff in there. They are teasing, it's going to be heavy with all kinds of Gremlins accessories for all your figures. So definitely check that out. And then what, like talking about McFarlane Toys, Shout out to A underscore Aesthetic One over in Southern California. He came across Bizarro from the new McFarlane Toys line. And just an FYI, the Nightwing is also released as well, like that Death in the Family zombie looking Nightwing. So he's out. The new wave is out incredibly early. It was more slated for like April 1st, just an FYI. But I had no problem buying mine, and most people have not. One person did. It just wasn't in their system, so it's going to depend on the target whether or not they allow you to buy it or if there's a street date or you can have no probs. It's kind of a mess, but keep an eye out this weekend if you go to Target and are looking for them. And then Hasbro, they sent over some more glamour pictures, press release photos of WandaVision's Vision and Wanda. So same deal. Again, I don't think they exactly match up to what we're seeing on the screen, but that's you know, not to make excuses and stuff, but it's kind of like, yeah, uh, we've seen that many times with past MCU property figures. So keep in mind, this was actually very cool. Shout out to Monica Kubina and Ty Templeton. They, you know, she's a colorist. He's an artist, does a lot of Batman, did the old Batman adventures tie into the cartoon. They announced Batman, the adventures continue season two, whole new comic book, right? continuing the adventures of batman 
This season, he's going to be taking on the Court of Owls. He's going to be hanging out with Dead Man, and that's just a few names for now. May 6th is the digital release, and June 1st, the physical hop copies will hit comic book stores. So, love that. I did read the first season. I like that they're calling them seasons for comic books. Um, if you take it to continuity for Batman the Animated Series and everything else leading up to Justice League Unlimited and Batman Beyond, way out of continuity. Doesn't make any sense, right? I'm a big stickler for that. I know my Batman the Animated Series and everything else. Um, still a fun read. I definitely do recommend it. It's, in a way, if... Not so much the Batman the Animated Series, the original comic kind of didn't really tie into the show all too much. It did and it didn't. So it could be its own separate continuity, just FYI. But I think at this point, so many years, to enjoy some new Batman Animated Series stories. <laughs> and like I said, I myself found the new McFarlane Toys Jon Stewart figure full review up on my YouTube channel, even though I don't like to call it a review. It's not really a review. It's I'm having fun with these toys, so it's uh, it's watch and have fun uh, video time. <laughs> we'll just say that. And then kind of coming into Friday, today, Amazon put up a pre-order for the new Hot Wheels Mario Kart Rainbow Road Raceway Track set. Say that all in one go. Massive. It's going to cost you like 120 bucks, but... Um, they do amazing stuff with the Hot Wheels things. It's got working lights, and Lakitu is, you know, holding the little lights, you know, right in front before you go. It's very cool. It's huge. It's massive. I would love to have it. I don't know. I, I would love to have it, but I don't know where I would where I would put it. Talking about the Target app again, the new McFarlane Toys death metal figures went up. So you got the Robin King, Batman with the guitar. You got Superman, Wonder Woman, and also the McFarlane Toys Batman variant that's different from the Walmart Gold Label series is up as well. Use that 25% off toy coupon. Hey, it works. Very cool to see. Save you some cash. Definitely go and grab them. Again, links all in the description below. Now, the big news, I guess the big news for me today is that Hasbro the other day teased that Walmart will be putting up some new exclusives coming this Monday. So you have Star Wars The Vintage Collection, where you got a couple new figures, right? We've, which, which we've seen, but now the pre-orders are hitting. Then they also teased Ghostbusters. And, of course, yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to get them. I mean, they're cool. I already have them, <laughs> which is a funny thing. But uh, GameSpot, for the ori official original reveal... And then Hasbro posted all kinds of cool videos. We're going to be getting reissues. I'm calling them like redishes because they're not like reissue and they're not quite like redos either. They're different. They're different enough. And there's a couple things on the real Ghostbuster, especially these ones, that I'm interested to see if they're going to keep or they're going to change or how they're really going to do it because a nice update here and there would be good, and it helps differentiate it between the vintage, much like the other new Ghostbusters that they did. They're, they're very different compared to the old ones, so people should never have a problem realizing that what they're buying, you know what I mean? So I don't really care about that at all. It's kind of fun to have new real Ghostbuster toys on the shelf for people to enjoy, but we're going to be getting Fearsome Flush, which is awesome. It's a toilet that comes to life. The Bug-Eyed Ghost. Between Fearsome, I'm seeing some... Different, I'm going to have to have them in hand, but uh, I'm seeing some differences, little tiny nuances between Fierce and Flush. With the Bug Eye Ghost, when looking at mine, there are some noticeable differences, so it's curious whether the it's because of the photos, but once I have them in hand, yeah, I'll do a video on that. And then, of course, the Fabled Ecto-1, which, again, there are some things I'm wondering if they're different or if it's the photo or stuff like that. Mainly in the Capture Claw, it looks to be a different string you know, it doesn't really matter. I have these things anyways, but I will be getting them once they hit. And that's very cool to see. What, tell me about that though. What do you think about these reissues? Are you happy with them or did you collect the Ghostbusters, real Ghostbusters, things like that? Does it bother you? Um, for me, no, it, it's, it's what it is. It's okay. They're going to do it regardless, but uh, the old ones are still top notch and head to eBay and grab them if you can. Posted some more photos of Jon Stewart, of course, up for pre-order now on Entertainment Earth. I'll have the link below. You can get the new NECA official Toonie Terrors Jaws set that they're releasing. I believe it hits just before summer, 
So just in time to close the beaches. It's very cool that they did Jaws. That's hilarious. I threw up some more pictures of my original Ghostbusters. Spawn, if you guys are big fans of Spawn, I have a retro shiz look at Spawn 4 from the 12th series of McFarlane Toys way back in 1998, so you can check that out as well. And no, I still haven't gotten my Kickstarter. I did order the three packs, so probably, you know, I've seen a lot of people with the singles, the two packs. Hopefully they're moving into three packs soon. I can't wait to check that figure out. But with everything we've discussed here, I try to keep it around the 30 minute mark. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything action figures and entertainment and pop culture. What was your favorite thing this week? And what are you looking forward to that I've talked about? And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember when it comes to all these toys and everything during the week, thank you so much for tuning in and letting me talk all these toys with you. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.